Hello YouTube! So today I'm going to do a pickups video and now I have too many stuff to show you guys so I'll try to make it quick. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be over 20 minutes long because I haven't done a video in like two months. Um, so yeah and also I'm using a new mic so the sound quality may be di very different. I'm just trying it out but I'm sorry if it doesn't come out very good. In that case I'll just go back to using the regular microphone later. Anyway so let's get started. Now like I said I had lots of stuff come in recently. <laughs> so the first thing um, I think I already mentioned that we picked up an Xbox Series S and it does come with this new version of the Xbox controller but um, I like to keep it connected to one system, trying not to, you know, switch it around and connect it to the phone or the laptop and go back to the Xbox because although it does work pretty well most of the times, like Bluetooth stuff always keeps giving me trouble when I try to connect and disconnect. So I did pick up a new controller. This is the electric bolt Xbox uh, controller. So this is the new version. It does have the share button and everything. And when I saw this, I had to pick it up because it looks so pretty. And I already... No, I haven't used it yet actually because I haven't played. But this is what it looks like. It's very pretty. I really like it. Um, I like these uh, like pop colors that stand out when it's a video game, console, or controller. Because I don't like, um, like the new like wine red color that came out. Uh, for the DualSense controller. I like the color but I don't like the color for a controller. I prefer like these types of like uh, toyish looking colors. So I really wanted to pick it up and now I got it. I got it from the official Microsoft store not from Amazon and other sites because at the time when I purchased it they didn't have it in stock. But this is like the revised version, the newest version of the Bitdo Pro controller. He has all of them I think. Um, I have one that doesn't have the handles that I got for a birthday or Christmas a long time ago which I use sometimes with the Switch and he really wanted this because of the new functionality that I don't really remember. He also got the clip for the phone so yeah he has yet to try it out. He just got it in the mail so there's that. And then some games. Uh, I picked up this game from Japan. This is One Step from Eden. This is not a Japanese game but as usual Japan got the physical copy so I decided to pick it up. It was also cheap. It was like $20. It looks like Mega Man Network where you have this grid on the map and then you have to move your character around and you choose the card or the skills you want to use. Uh, but it's in real time and it's like roguelike so if you die you have to start over. It's pretty hard and hectic. I don't know if I like it, but um, I have tried it. And I mean, for $20, it's okay for a physical copy. But definitely not my favorite game or anything yet. <laughs> and then a good friend of mine, uh, back in March, uh, when it was my birthday, he didn't give me anything. And of course, I didn't say anything because, you know, it's not like I was expecting something. But uh, this month, he gave me Pokemon Snap for my birthday, belated birthday. So I played it a little bit and it's really cute. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it in detail because it's just Pokemon Snap. Like it has lots of Pokemons. I've taken pictures of the same Pokemons over and over because they're cute. Like the Bidoof sleeping like this and you know. Um, it's a really cool game but I do get a little bit motion sick so I can't play for that long. And because of that reason I haven't played it that much but the game is actually good. Okay so that's it for games. <laughs> The rest are just random things and figures and stuff like you can see around here. I'm dumb and forgot that I had hung these hung? Yeah, I had hung these towels up and forgot to show them to you guys on the video. So these are just wrong towels from Dragon's Crown. I got one of each character and this is what it looks like. I only ha hung them on the wall because my wall is ugly as I haven't finished um making it look pretty. So I decided to put them up there. I'll probably move them later on. So let's start with smaller things. Uh, so this is a pen case. This is a Pokemon pen case. And I don't know why I got it. I just thought it was cute. And I never use these cases for anything actually. But um, I like cases so that's why I picked it up I guess. 
Um, I, I kind of have lots of like Pokemon cases put away somewhere. So yeah. And then, uh, oh yeah, this. I had a, like there was a sale on one of the Japanese sites I buy stuff at. So I picked up some pin badges. So these are Persona 3 Dancing All Night pin badges, badges that I'm never going to use for anything. There's one. This is another one that I'll show you guys later. This is Persona 5. Unfortunately, they did not have anything from Persona 4. So... I only got Persona 3 and 5 stuff. But it was only like 50 cents or 50 yens each. So I'm like, eh, why not? It's not like I need them for anything, but it's so cheap that, you know, I should just get it. So there's Persona 3 too. Yeah, so that was pretty cheap. And then I also got an acrylic charm. I'm going to open this because I want to see. Oh, this is cute. So this is just like a keychain of Psyduck. And it's very cute. Uh, Psyduck is one of my favorite Pokemons. Not my favorite, but, you know, one of my favorites. And I also got this um, pin badge, another one, but a huge one of Pop Team Epic. And it's very shiny. <laughs> like, what am I gonna do with it? I have no idea, but it was cheap. Um, when I say cheap, I mean it's like less than like two dollars, you know, so why not? Oh, I forgot I picked this up. Let me take off the sticker. Unnecessary sticker. This is the official soundtrack of Danganronpa. It does have the out outer sleeve on the front, so let me take that out uh, so that I can show you guys the case. So this is the official soundtrack. Yay! It does have lots of songs and I think, yeah, it's two discs. So you have one and two. Um, this is the original one. Yeah, this is the first game. I really like the songs or the so songs, not songs. Uh, is it songs? Yeah, music from the Danganronpa series. So I'm like, why not? It was cheap too. It was only like $3. So it was a steal actually. And then another Danganronpa related thing. I got a noodle stopper figure. Well, actually it's a petite noodle stopper figure, which is a smaller version of the noodle stopper figures. If you don't know what noodle stopper figures are, they're these prize figures that are really small. Uh, well, not that small, but compact that you can sit on your noodle like lid so that it doesn't open up for your cup noodles. Um, I never use it for that, but that's what it's supposed to be. And I got a Monokuma one and a Monomi one. So Monokuma... Mm -hmm. This is Monokuma. Wait, it looks weird when it's just <laughs> white on the white side. So you can like sit him down. He has the legs sticking out. It's pretty cute. Um, and then the other one is Monomi, of course. I think these figures were around like $11 for both of them. I'm not including shipping of course, but that's how much it cost. Here's Monomi. It's very bright. Oh, there you go. Monomi, very cute, very cute. Small and cute. Um, he has the belly button. <laughs> And yeah, so there's that. I'll be setting them up somewhere soon. And then, what else is in here? I don't even remember. Um, I think the last two things. So one is just a plush. Yeah, this is just a robot Pikachu from, I don't know, the scientific trainer. Not sure what they're, what they're called in English. But yeah, I thought it was cute. Also, I picked up this thing. This is a uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne shot glass. <laughs> it's like, why you need a shot glass? Um, I really don't need it. Well, I do because I do drink sake quite often now. Um, ever since the pandemic started, I get stressed out and I drink alcohol sometimes, I think. I shouldn't, but 
yeah and i really wanted a shot glass because i only drink like this much each time i can't drink a lot so yeah i decided to pick this up i got this one from amiami it was only like i don't remember how much it was like ten dollars or something so yeah uh, i'll probably use it not sure when <laughs> because i do have a small cup for alcohol but yeah anyways so that's it for this box we and then we have another set of like this this is a pokemon uh, doll figures and these are like really small and cute pokemon figures and it looks like it's hairy like furry and each box comes with one to uh, ten figures but I gave one to my friend and I'm not sure if it's supposed to complete be complete with one box but there's there are two figures there's uh, not sure what it's called in English but cute um, region form one the original one this is the original one really cute and I'm not going to open it because there are too many here's what is it, rabbit foot? <laughs> in English? I'm not sure what he's called in... What is he called in English? I think that... Oh, there's Pikachu. I think he doesn't... They don't get... It doesn't complete in, with one box. Uh, because it's supposed to be... Yeah, I'm missing one. But it's one that I don't really care for, so it's okay. But yeah, even if you buy the box, I guess it doesn't... It's not complete. This was like $25. I don't think it was worth it after opening it. I thought it was a little bit bigger, but you know, I should have checked. Eh. Okay, so now moving on to scale figures or bigger. Oh wait, I'm missing one thing that I didn't show you guys. So this is a accessory stamp from Pokemon Center. And I thought it was very cute. Uh, it has Umbreon and Espeon, Sun and Moon, and you can hang your earrings or uh, put your accessories on the bottom. So it's pretty cute. Um, I already had one, something like this, not Pokemon related one, but I never use it. So I decided to pick another one up. Anyways, so let's move on to figures. Now, my husband picked up two figures one which i didn't bring out so i'll show you guys on the screen but the other one is this this is the black oh wait dark magician girl in japanese black magician girl and he got this without the box for a good price i don't remember how much but yeah i found it on some japanese website i let him know that it's pretty cheap compared to what it's going for so he decided to pick it up you can take off the cap. I think it was magnetic or it's not magnetic. Oh my light yeah. <laughs> I was like, am I dreaming? Am I imagining things? But yeah, you can take it off pretty easily. Put it back on. There you go. And there's that. Very cute figure. And then I picked up this Jot <laughs> Jotaro figure. I thought that he was smaller. Honestly, I was expecting something like this big. I was surprised when I got this in the mail. But um, it's pretty cute, so I'm not complaining. Yeah, like he's huge. <laughs> I do like Jojo. I'm a big fan of Jojo. I do have some figures, but you, you never see them because they're like on the bottom. So yeah. Um, and then I picked up this figure from 7th Dragon. I actually picked up two figures from 7th Dragon. One is the first figure that they released. This is the original Samurai. I had the, car the second color vari variation which has the green uniform and brown hair. But I never picked up the original. So I decided to pick her up before it gets too expensive because I, I kept seeing like the price going up and down up and down and i got her finally for a good price um i got the damaged box i mean i got the box that was damaged but i really didn't care so yeah it's cheaper to get it that way and then i picked this one brand new picked up this one brand new this is uh the same character from seventh dragon i think this one's from seventh dragon 2022 not 2020 so this is the made version of the same character and she's very pretty well there you go she's very pretty 
and she is I don't know how much I paid uh, around $73 I think plus shipping of course very cute um, I didn't pre-order her when she was announced because I don't know I thought she didn't look that good compared to the other figures and it's she's not my favorite but for the price I paid it's pretty good I'm not gonna lie <laughs> <sighs> and then, and then I have a new figure that I picked up. She came out a few weeks ago, I believe, or a month ago or so. This is a uh, Sana Natori, and she has a little like eggplant, but this one falls off. So I'm gonna show you guys the figure first. Um, this is what she looks like. The character, the artwork is done by the same person that does the artwork for this Gaia. That's why I picked it up because I thought that the artwork or the design was cute. I really don't care for the character that much compared to other stuff, but if you look at it, you know, it's very cute. Cute, cute, cute. You can take off the cap pretty easily too, it's magnetic. And the uh, eggplant is very shiny. <laughs> I thought that's pretty cool. And then another unrelated figure that I don't know why I picked up is this. This is, um... Goya from Kankole. I thought that it was cute and I've only picked her up because she was pretty inexpensive and I always wanted a figure of Kankole, at least one, but I didn't know which one to get and I saw this so I'm like, huh, why don't I get it now? I really like the base because she's sitting on the ship, but um, yeah, it's, I don't think it's a super new figure, but I mean, She's pretty detailed and cute, so yeah. She does have a base, but whatever. It's just a blue, blue base. Regular base. <sighs> I'm trying to save the best for last, or my favorites for last. Okay, so I guess I'll show you guys this one, Persona related. This is... I never figured out how to pronounce this character's name in English. In Japanese, it's um, Aigisu. But I don't know what she's called. I, how you pronounce her name in English? Um, yeah. Anyways, so I got her for like thirty bucks, which is pretty cheap. She does have some uh, paint, like coming off from other stuff here, and the base is also kind of dirty. But I do believe I can clean her up. She's not a completely new figure, so I really didn't mind. And this is what she looks like. She's very um, pretty. That's what I liked about the figure. Like she looks different from the original artwork and she looks very like mature and calm looking in this figure. And I really like the made clothing on her. I think she looks very cute. She has the red shoes. And yeah, like it's not super detailed, but it's very simple and I like it. Like it's one of those figures that I wanted to have in my collection even though I'm not a huge fan of the character, honestly. But I'm happy I picked her up. I need to clean her up though. Um, that's my next project. Uh, another figure that I got, this was pre-ordered. This is um, from Moon. This is the Invisible Boy from uh, Moon. So I already reviewed this game on my channel a while back. And if you haven't played it, you should. <laughs> it's pretty cool if you like weird JRPGs. The story from Mother or Earthbound or maybe Undertale. Those types of kind of weird stories. You might enjoy this one. So let me open him up. Um, I pre-ordered him a long time ago. It kept getting delayed and now it finally got released. Ugh. So I, I, I am going to keep him in the box, probably, because it's transparent. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> so this is what he looks like. And the character, if you haven't played the game or you don't know what it's about, it's a boy and he turned invisible. So he puts the, the clothes on from this um, old lady's house who she believes him to be, I think, her grandson or something. I don't remember exactly. But yeah, so he, he's just a boy with clothes on. It's just that, you know, he looks like he's invisible. So it's pretty cool because, yeah, it, it captures 
what he looks like in the game. <laughs> uh, it's pretty simple, but I really like it. I think it's a, one of those collection pieces that you should have if you're a fan of the game. Um, you can still get them on Amazon Japan. I did get this pre-order bonus from the official website because I got it from the official website. This is a magnet uh, that says moon. And I only pre-ordered because of this. I really wanted this for some reason because I thought it was cool and it's pretty heavy. And there's lots of noise outside, so I'm gonna wait. Two more, two more figures. Ah, uh, so the this one I'm not sure if I can show it to you guys without censoring it because YouTube is very strict, and I've heard of channels who that show figures like getting uh, banned because they're showing this th these types of figures. So I'm gonna cover her up. Look up the image online if you're interested. But this is um, the character from Muramasa, and she's like in this. She only has a towel, so you can almost see her boobs. I've uploaded her picture on my Twitter account, so if you're interested, you can also check there or Google her. And you can see her booty. <laughs> you can see her booty in the back. Um, yeah, so she doesn't have any underwear or anything. You can't see anything because her hair covers it up pretty nicely, but still, you know, it's a very um, booby-licious figure. And I got and I think she's one of those figures that were very expensive. I think I've seen her go for like, I don't know, like $230 with the box. Uh, I think that she was very cheap because one, she doesn't have the outer box. She only came in the plastic box. And two, because the picture that the person who was selling it took, on the listing was very bad like it had very bad lighting there was only one picture and it almost looked like it was gonna be a counterfeit figure because of the price and the quality of the pictures and what I did was instead of asking the seller because I couldn't uh, since I was using a pro proxy I looked up for counterfeit versions of this figure and it like it didn't exist so I'm like hmm if it doesn't exist it's probably the authentic figure so and also the seller had good ratings so i'm like i'll just go for it and it was worth it <laughs> it was worth paying half or you know what it's worth now anyways so the last figure and this is my favorite out of the bunch this is alice from Odin Sphere. um as you know i love vanilla wear games and i had pre-ordered this figure from a long time ago uh, i don't remember when i pre-ordered her because it's been so long but um, yeah, so this is Alice from Odin's Fear, and this is the girl that opens the book for you when you start the game. And it's very cool because the figure has lots of the, like, not easter eggs, but elements from the actual game. Like the cat, you can see the books, you can see the blue bird. It's hard to um, show you guys. I'll probably do a whole review, full review on my other channel soon. You can see the whatever this is called. You can see the other character in the back. You can see its butt sticking out <laughs> and the head coming out. So it's very, very cute. Like it has lots of details and I'm really happy that I picked it up. Um, you can take out the cat if you want. Anything that has a cat, I get. <laughs> so yeah, cute, cute, cute. I'm waiting now for the um, figure from 13 Sentinels that has the fluffy, I think it's called in English, figure with uh, one of the other characters. So yeah, I think that's it. Actually, no, it's not all, but I don't think I'll show you guys the rest because they're really small items. They were curvy figures. I might show it to you guys on the screen pretty quickly. There are snowball Kirby's. They are making snowballs and I just had to get them because I love Waddle Dee and Kirby so much. And I also got this. This is um, a very sleepy looking King DDD and he's so cute. But yeah, um, these last two months I had lots of stuff come like, arrive because I had pre-ordered a lot, they kept getting delayed and they got released almost at the same time. 
and then also like things that were shipped to me from Japan from a few months ago finally got to me because I used like um, Surface Mail instead of using DHL or FedEx because it's cheaper. So yeah, that's why I have so much stuff this month. Uh, also, I didn't do a pickup video on April, so it's like two months together. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought and check out my uh, figures channel if you're interested in watching uh, reviews. I think I did one. I haven't done one for any of these, but I will soon. <laughs> anyways, thanks for watching and hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.